Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants. We're out in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for your time to preview this lovely machine. What I have here is a Westlake Series 1 heavy pattern knee mill that's been retrofitted with a Centroid M400 control. This particular machine was manufactured in let's call it the mid-90s by Leadwell Corporation. It's a Leadwell Westlake Series 1 and it happens to be our stock number 7,773. This controller here is what we call a Centroid M400 and it was retrofitted within the last four or five or six years that was put onto this machine to replace the existing older Mitsubishi Meldos that was originally put on this machine back in the day. This uh, Centroid control is something that we proudly sell, support, and service here at Machinery Consultants in Salt Lake City, Utah. That being said, I'd like to get straight into doing a video showing how simple it is to run some of the basic features on this Centroid control in the operation of the Westlake Series 1 and after we get into it a little bit we'll talk about uh, some of the tooling that goes along with it, how the spindle taper is set up with the quick switch 200 and so forth. Okay, so basically the first thing that I've done, say I'm walking in fresh, turning on my machine in the morning, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit double start and then I'm going to do the machine home set. At the same time I've already done that. Next thing I'm going to do, say I'm getting ready to run a program. This is the screen that we're at now. Can you see it okay where we're at? Okay, cool. I'm going to go F2 load. I'm going to go down and select which program that I want. I've already pre-set up a couple of programs. This one here is going to be called Demo 1 CNC, for example. Okay, so we're going to scroll down to the one desire. F10 accept. I don't know if you can see these F keys right here, but it's just as simple as pulling up the program, hitting F10 accept. Uh, machine is clear, parts clear. We're in the safe zone. We're ready to go. I'm going to hit cycle start. Give it the double cycle start, and we're running the program live. I'll step out of the way. Looking excellent, Bill. Okay, cool. You want to come on in and you can show them some of maybe the original flaking on the waves and how our spindle's turning. I'll get back over my comfort zone on the right here. So what we're seeing here is a basic uh, NMTB number 30 taper spindle, and we've done a uh, quick switch 200 spindle taper. What you're seeing is a 200 series quick switch spindle taper. I have a whole selection of holders that go with this package. This is set up as a uh, Kurt work holding vise, a D688 Kurt vise. You'll see several demo parts that several demo parts that we've already done on this machine. Okay, I'm gonna have you step back and take me to the controller a little bit. Okay, I'm coming up on line 146. I'm gonna bell out on line 147 due to essence of time. Uh, how far in on the video are we? Three, four minutes. Three and a half. What, how we, where are we at? Three and a half. Three and a half, okay. Um, you'll note on line 146, that's T2S3000. So that would be basically, okay, I've, okay, I've done my pocket, my boring, done in, done my first steps. I'm getting ready to do a tool change to go to tool number two. In this situation, again, we're just going to run tool number one. Um, the neat features about this machine with this controller, let's run through them really quickly on the bullet points. We can run this machine in an automatic fashion, in an incremental or continuous mode, is a power feed situation, X, Y, and Z on the spindle, as well as the fact that we're going to treat this monitor right here, again it's a 15 inch LCD monitor, as a digital readout for our positioning. You'll note that I'm coming in with uh, 02468, 02468. So my resolution that I'm reading here is within two tenths, which is switchable, by the way, if you care down the road. Uh, that being said, I'll show you how easy it is. I don't know if you can see that. How easy it is to speed it up a little bit. That's times one, times ten. Now here's times a hundred.
Now we can also go into incremental mode where we're moving strictly a specific amount each time we touch the button for positioning. So this is going to override something like an angle finder, edge finder, whatever. All right, let's go back to continuous so we don't fall asleep. Okay, there's Y in and out. Y back towards us. Okay, here's our Z up. Here's our Z down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and reload that program. Let's see, let's go to F2. And we'll close out F10 accept. Check the start. Okay, I'm going to turn it down nice and slow. Okay, uh, wrapping everything up here. In conclusion, we have a Westlake machine here for Machinery Consultants Utah that's available for sale. Um, it's a Westlake Series 1. This machine, again, was manufactured by Leadwell back in the mid 1990s. I have a three axis CNC render fit put on the machine. In the package that I'm doing for XYZ price, what I'm proposing is we go in and we do a Kurt Vice. We're also offering a, a tool room package A. What that's going to consist of, essentially, is a DP4 probe. So we're going to utilize the, the control with the probe for the DP4 probe. Thank you. Uh, additionally, I'm going to go in and do... You'll notice what I'm doing is I'm overriding the spindle speed rate. Again, here on the controller, I'm at 87% on the feed rate. I'm at 201, and my spindle speed currently is running at 920 RPMs. Easy peasy. Uh, going back to the tool room package, we're also proposing a TT1 or a TT tool for the tool touch-off sensor. Number three, which is an item that's kind of uh, used widely and very well accepted, is what we call the MPG handle. It's going to be plugged into the back of the controller. Uh, so in your hand, you can do X, Y, Z, as well as your fourth axis on the selection. That being said, this control is set up with two USB ports, as well as the fact that it has an Ethernet cable. Intercon conversational is the format of programming, simply filling in the blanks format through what we call pre-can cycles. They're basically like your drilling, your milling, your pocket, your frame, drilling, uh, line, arc, frame, whatever. Or it can also accept straight G codes, but don't be afraid to ask about a post-processor which would be ran from some sort of an offline CAD, CAD, CAD CAM package as well in the future. So, good stuff. Uh, original flaking on the machine. That being said, James, I'm going to have you give me one wrap around on the machine here. I want to show off some of the last features here. We have a heavy duty table here. All the specifications are going to be shown on the website. And what you're seeing on the table here is a 17 by 36 and a half. I have 32 in the X, 14 in the Y, 5.5 in the quill. I'm currently set up with the fixed knee, however in the future if you want you could add an optional, on the motor down here you can add an optional knee up, knee elevation. Again, this is the prowess of the machine tool industry when it comes to a setup of this nature. I'm also showing off the uh, quick switch number two, uh, number 200 series tooling, that uh, it's changed in and out essentially with the wrench, very quick, very fast. We have a spindle air brake on the machine as well as an automatic loop package. The automatic loop package ties in with the spindle air brake. And on the rear, of course, is your centroid controller. Okay, so all that in a sack of chips. That being said, if you have any questions, this video and several photos and the quote, all the specifications other than the, the actual asking price, are located on our website. Here at Machinery Consultants, go to www.machineryconsultants.com. Our phone number is 801-531-9500. Until next time, appreciate your time in reviewing. Be happy, be healthy, and have a great day. Thanks again.